Hi, I'm Phil Smith and I'm the CEO of Fletcher Jones. Fletcher Jones is an apparel retail organisation that's been around since 1918. I've only been there a short time, six months or so. I hope that I can see a first-hand experience of those practices that put people at risk. And I want to put a stop to it. And I want to put a stop to it effective immediately. The quicker we can roll this out, the quicker we can let people know that safety is not up for negotiation. It's not up to cut corners. We're not looking to save dollars. We're simply trying to make a safer working environment for everyone. This is Peter, he's Hi, heading Peter. up the research. How are you? Fantastic. This is our VM room. You feel safe out here? Not always. I've had shelves fall on my shins. I've hit my ankle twice uh, yes. on this. Yeah, things need to really be put away properly. Have you ever tripped over out here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, many times. Right. Pull that off. See, that's it, that's a danger there. Because right, that, that looks if like if someone didn't fall. take note of that and went to get this one, that could fall. Yeah. So does that happen from time to time? Yeah. Yeah. They're stable up there until you actually move them. Move one. Well, the only way I can move this is like this, or to actually lift the whole thing off the because stand. If because I lift this. That'll come out of there. That comes off of... Yep. Just very heavy. There you go. How do you do this on your own? Oh, it's just guesswork. <laughs> no. Just get an aching back, but... So this has to be moved like mm -hmm. this? Yep. Hmm. OK. Did you get your shelves together? No, not yet. Oh. Is there a reason you use a screwdriver rather than a then rather than an electric drill? drill because the company hasn't supplied one and the company generally doesn't like to spend the money on those sorts of things when when you this, don't use need it that it. often yeah and yes my wrist will kill by the end of it When you have a day like this, mm -hmm. how do you feel at the end of the day? Exhausted. <laughs> so it's quite physically... Exhausting. Exhausting. Yeah. Demanding. Yeah. Later, yeah. Does John bring these in here, does he? He does, yeah. Right. And if I ask him and he's not busy, he, the other day he brought a box down for me. No, you're not going to lift those. So John does. He does. Hello, John. Peter from ISRG. How are you doing? Nice to Good to meet you. It's incredible that people haven't tripped on this. Yeah. I think everyone's just um, careful. So you know? used to it, yeah. yeah. Because they know it's there. Yeah. Do you undertake any training around safety? No. And do you ever talk about safety issues with anyone else in the organisation? Is there a forum at all no. in any way? Store other store manager groups or no? Um, but the minute that you see something, someone's doing something wrong, will you stop that practice straight away? Obviously. Okay. Do you highlight the safety risk? Yes. There. You shouldn't be doing that because you might fall off, or no, I will do that because that is too heavy for you. You know, there's lot. There's so lots. You put of... yourself at risk yeah. before you start. Absolutely. When we flooded 12 months ago the whole store got recarpeted for the first time and us two women pulled the carpet up with a crowbar. You pulled the carpet up yes. with a crowbar? Yes. Everyone hands on deck had to either roll it up or 
carry it in which way that they could, whether there's two or three people carrying a big load of cow carpet, depends how much we got up in one go, and that will get loaded into a truck out the front of the store. Was there any discussion about how to carry out these duties no. around no. keeping it safe? No, there wasn't. I should never have been pulling the carpet up on the floor. I still have trouble now. When you say you still have trouble... Occasionally or... I get a bit of an ache and it's just through that. It's just because I didn't rest it. OK. If you could give the management a message about safety, what would be the one single biggest message you want to give them? They need to listen to us and ask. We've never been asked what the issues are. You think they're a bit removed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this store floods quite often, so I have to climb out the window. There's steps down there. Oh, wow. So then I get on the roof and then I walk down and then I clamber up and over and up and over. Uh, over the peak? Yes. And up and over? Yeah. I take a big plastic bag with me. There's a, obviously a reason why it's flooding, so I've got to get rid of the leaves. And so, how do you know that it's flooding? Because it's raining inside the building right, on the shop water's floor. water's coming in on mm -hmm. the shop floor. So it could be rotted underneath Could there. be. Could be, for all I know. Definitely. Right. But I do it with work boots. You do it with work boots? Yeah, I've got my own clothes here. Mm -hmm. I've got tracksuit pants. And that's what I throw on to get out on the roof. Apart from the day that it flooded, I just went out with what I had on, threw my work boots out and just went. So all of this... ..has been worth it just in that. Yeah. That was amazing. Do you think the timber has been replaced? Don't know, probably not. But I still get out there. How high up do you reckon that is? She's putting her, what's she got at risk? Her life. got a lot more out of this today than I thought I would. I learned a lot that I'm sure I wouldn't have learned any other way. When talking with the staff and asking them about how often do they talk about safety, it quickly became apparent to me that it's simply not something that's on the agenda. What I have seen here today simply isn't acceptable and um, I, I, need to, I need to act and I need to act quickly. It was, uh... I was with you here. That makes it pretty, you know, it's pretty great. Serious. Yeah, it's good that, you know, you get the CEO coming in, doing that. Seeing it firsthand and looking at what you're doing and looking at the risks, really, um, was gobsmacking for me. You know, the message we now have to get out to the people, and you'll play a big role in it, Sarah, because I think you can be strong enough to show some you know, real leadership with this and just say, that's just not acceptable. The big message is nothing is more important than safety. Mm. Nothing. And 
that's all there is to it. it we, we cannot have people trying to save time or money above safety. So it's a big thanks. Really appreciate your time and your effort and your honesty. Thank you.